Jain everyone my name is Chaya Yadav from CC department AKG Engineering College so uh, today we are going to start uh, python programming and uh, we are discussing unit 2 of python programming last uh, uh, presentation we had discussed the unit 1 so today we are discuss about the unit 2 so unit 2 let me tell you the brief introduction uh, what uh, we are going to read first we will read about the loop and second sorry loop uh, and second is uh, conditional statements and the programs and some examples of conditional statements so here it is go now uh, first topic of unit 1 is conditional statements in python what do you mean by conditional statement as we have discussed already so many students have already stud studied the c programming so the concept of c programming and python uh, the topic of conditional statement is just like similar uh basic the difference uh, between them is source of code the source of code is python is uh, different as comparison to c programming but the meaning and the concept of conditional statement is similar so what do you mean by conditional statement conditional statement is just like the conditions uh, where an user put in the programming what kind of conditions uh, varies like uh, we uh, are going to compare two variables like a and b and we have to print the value of only one variable so we will go under the conditions that uh, which variable uh, will be printing so here is the conditional statement basically it helps in making a decision based on certain conditions means it uh, the number of variables uh, will uh, compare itself and print the output second one is these conditions are specified a set of conditional statements having boolean expression which are evaluated to true or false true or false meaning just like ki we are doing the conditions between the two or true or false means we have to take the values of two or more variables and compare between the variables and check which variable value is true and which variable value is false so the variable uh, the value of variable is true we will going out the print of that variable so boolean expression means we have to check the conditions between the variables means true or false second one is conditional statement are also known as decision making statement means uh, we somehow we confused which variable are going to print and which variable are going to print the uh, output variable so we use conditional statement and apply the conditions and finalize um, took the decision which variable should be printed python supports conditional execution using if else statement so basically in python we use conditional statement conditional statement is basically divided into four parts first one is if statement second one is if else else statement third one is nested if statement and fourth one is elif so we know clearly in c programming we have read if statement second we read also uh, uh, know about the if else statement same concept uh, apply in python programming and uh, third one is nested if statement now the different part in python is elif statement that we will discuss further so start from the if statement what do you mean by if statement so basically if statement is just like consist of boolean expression followed by one or more statements means we are using if statement when we are doing apply the condition between two variables and this if statement is unidirectional means we are applying the if conditions and if the condition is true then the variable the value of variable is printed or it give the output value otherwise it will exit the conditions second is with an if clause a condition is provided if the condition is true then the block of statement written in the if 
clause will be executed means whatever the condition we are given or we are getting if that condition is true means that block of code it will be printed otherwise it will not be printed and it will not execute the statement so it, it, this is the directly meaning of st if statement so here we can go through the definition of a statement first we have to discuss the what is the meaning of if statement second is syntax how do we use the uh, if statement condition so this is a simple syntax of uh, if statement like we have written the condition between if clause we can use the bracket and apply the condition or we cannot uh, use the bracket we are simply write the condition like a is greater than b conditions are just like the as i already told you between the variables so just like the conditions between the variables to variables what type of conditions may be applied like first is a can be greater than b and a can be less than b a can be equals to equals to b a uh, should can be less than equals to equals to b a can be not equals to b and a can be greater than equals to b so these are the kind of conditions that we may apply in our conditional statements and check which variable is follow the conditions and just giving the outputs so these are the conditions so basically in if conditions we are only check the conditions in which are given in if statement and if the condition is present in if statement is true then we will print that variable otherwise we will exit the statement and it will not give any kind of output here is an example you can see the example also i am i have shown here already like i am uh, going to take any variable like where where is kind of variable and the value of variable is 100 i already declared the value of variable is 100 means this is the fixed value so here is the condition so we are going to apply the condition how do we apply let me tell you this is the condition first condition if and here is the condition variable if variable equals to 100 if variable equals to 100 means the value of variable which I have already declared that is 100 is equals to 100 means 100 is equals to 100 then we have to print the statement print value of expression is 100 and again print another statement which is goodbye. So this statement is only print when this condition is true. If any condition if any step this condition is not true then this block of statement is also not printing and it will not give the output so this condition should be true to print any kind of statement of any variable so this condition is true then it will print these sentences we uh, we may uh, write uh, multiple number of statements multiple number of codes under the if conditions it depends the condition is true or false okay then output will be if the condition is true then output will be value of expression is 100 and goodbye so this is simple the uh, if condition the condition is the first part of conditional statement next here is another part which is called if else statement if else statement means if a statement can be followed by an optional else statement as i already told you if a statement is basically the unidirectional statement okay so if else statement is bidirectional means the condition in if condition which i have already discussed is somehow false then the then the condition will go under the else conditions so the we also compare the condition between two variables okay so uh, what if condition said if condition if a is greater than b then print a and somehow if a is not greater than p then how we will how do I, uh, we print the value of b so else condition means it is an optional statement whenever a is not greater than b then we will print b so condition is if else means if a is greater than b b means print a 
else print b means we have another option to print another variable so we are going to use the else conditions so basically it is bidirectional statements and we can see the else condition is used when we have to uh, judge one statement on the basis of other means if if the condition which is given in if block the condition which is given in if block if this condition is false then we will print the else statement otherwise we we only print if statement first so if else condition is the option of two variables when one variable value is false then we will go to the another value and print the another variable another value of that variable so here is the syntax of if else statement this is the these are the two type of syntax first it will read if statement and print block of code of if statement and if the statement of is condition is false then it will print the statement of else okay so this is the syntax of if else conditions or statements and uh, here is a working and execution i already told you the working and execution what if else do but you can read these two points for your better understanding then you can read means the condition will be evaluated to a boolean expression means true or false and if condition is true the statement present in if block is printing and the statement is false then the statement under else condition is will be printing so here is the example of if else this is an example of if else here uh, i have taken a variable num and the value of num is equals to 5 this is already declared value means the value of num is equals to 5 is fixed this is fixed okay this is fixed value means the num value is already 5 we cannot put any kind of value because we have already declared the value 5 to the num okay condition is if if num greater than 10 means greater than is a condition if num means 5 is greater than 10 then we will print only the statement of if which comes under if means we will print number is greater than 10 if somehow the value of num is not greater than 10 so we will comes under else condition and print the statement of else condition we already know we cannot use the conditions in else we only use the condition in if block and if condition is true then we will print the value of if comes under if condition otherwise we will print the statement of else if the condition of if is not true okay and uh, let me tell you the meaning of in python we use a colon colon means like this mark after each conditions uh, after each conditional statement means if we are using if then we use colon after ending each statement if we are if we are using else then we use colon after completion of condition means colon means that it would suggest under the statement of else and if means it says that you have to enter uh, into the my statements which i have already written we have to read these statement which are already written in if or else conditions colon suggest to comes under the if or else statements so here is the output number is less than 10 because as we know num value of num equals to 5 and 5 is not greater than 10 means the condition of if not printing if the condition of if is false then we will come under the else conditions okay so this is the exam simple examples of uh, if else you can use these kind of example by an user input we will all we will discuss further how do we use user input how do we take the values from the users and check the conditions and print the values so we will discuss further in, in next class okay so uh, this is a third uh, conditional statements and this is nested if 
somehow most important part of python in conditional statement because many programmers use nested if and um, elif statement because we are going to uh, write a complex code not one or two three lines code so basically if or else um, if or if else conditions are mainly used when we are going to write small kind of codes and in case if we are going to design a project or we are going to write a complex code or large number of codes then we use nested if statement or elif statement so here it is nested if statement nested if statement are nested inside other if statement means nested means ki uh, like if statement and another if condition under the if statement like i have to give an if statement ne next i have to check another if statement another condition then we are going to so many if conditions under one if condition so this is nested if okay we use nested if statement when we need to check secondary conditions i already told you when uh, like i want to check a is greater than b and if i have more than two variables like i, I have three or more variables so we are going to use nested if because more than three variables means we are going to check more than three conditions and if conditions comes under again if conditions is called nested if means if i am going to take a b and c and i am going to check if a is greater than b again i am going to check if b is greater than c and again i am going going to check c is greater than a so these are the condition which have more than two conditions means we have to check conditions more than two or three conditions so we are going to use nested if means if a is greater than b then print a otherwise if b is greater than c then print b and if these condition are false then we use else if no body is above statement is true then we are going to come under else condition last option where no other option is left then we are going to print the statement of else condition okay so this is the syntax of nested if like we are going to use first if then if first if is true then we will print the statement of this first okay now again we are going under another if statement if another if this is not true this is false then this comes under another statement okay and it will execute if this is true if this is true then it will print this statement if somehow another condition is false if this is also false then it comes under else condition so it depends the statement is true or false and the condition of if is first if is not true then it comes under second if and the condition of second if is not true then it comes under else okay last option is else means nobody condition is match then the it will print the statement of else otherwise if the statement of first if is true then it will directly print the statement of first conditions okay so it is the example of nested if i have already given here and you can try with the another value by using another value you can try and understand the concept here i am taking a variable a and the value of variable a is equals to 20 which is fixed so i am going to check the condition number first first condition if a equals to equals to this is a sign of equals to we are as you already know uh, those students who already uh, read the c programming they know very well this is the sign of equals to and this is a sign of assignment operator okay so i am going to check the condition number first if a is equals to b Oh, sorry a is equals to 20 which i have already declared the value of a is equals to 20 which is true okay then it will print first if statement first if statement again again another condition if a is less than 25 yes 20 20 sorry 20 is less than 
25. This condition is also true. Then the statement will also print second condition because both conditions are true. Yes, A is equals to 20 means 20 is equals to 20. And second condition is also true. 20 is less than 25. Yes, means both the conditions are true. Another else, A is greater than 25. No, this condition is false. Print another else, A is not equal to 20. This condition is false. Then first, this, then what we, what the output will be printed? If both the condition is true, then the output will follow these conditions. It will not comes under else condition. If somehow the if condition will false, then it comes under else condition. But here it is totally follow first if both the if conditions. Means if a is equals to 20, which is true. Means a is less than 20, which is true. So what it will be print? It will be print a is smaller than 25. Here is a output a is smaller than 25 okay now the last elif statement elif statement is just stand for else if in python so here we are going to use nested if and elif statement nested if just like we are going to use several if conditions under if conditions and we print if conditions elif statement just like we are going to use if else statement under if conditions means there are several number of else if statement included in this concept which is called elif statement means uh, like i am going to use first condition if and this condition is uh, somehow not true then again we are going to use else if else sorry else if if this condition is not true then again we are going to use else if so these kind of condition is called elif statement we use elif statement when we need to check multiple conditions only if the given if condition execute as a false see what we have uh, read in nested if uh, like uh, if uh, we are going to read the condition in if statement and the condition of if statement is true then the output will be printed otherwise it will go under else conditions okay but here we are going to use multiple conditions and uh, only if the given if condition execute as a false means if we are going to use if and this condition will false then we are going to use another else if another else if statement that can be true or false if that condition is also false then we are going to another and another elif statements so this is called the normally meaning of elif statement here is the working and execution of elif means if the first if condition is true means we are going to use the first if condition and that condition is true so the program will execute the body of the if statement means the program will give the output otherwise the program will go to the elif block which basically checks for another if statement means we are going to use if statement and that if statement is true then it directly print that value and in case if that statement of if condition is somehow false then it will go under elif statement so here is the uh, second point uh, working if the condition is true the program will execute the body of elif statement again then if the condition is found to be false the program will go to the next else block means it will continually go elif elif else if else if else if un until the condition uh, will be true or will be print the correct value then this concept is elif statement here is the syntax if then body of if then body of if if these conditions are false, then it will comes under else conditions, which I already drew. See, these are the four conditions which uh, I already discussed in today's class. So, all of you are going will practice regarding these questions. And in next class, we will discuss some examples of these conditions and loops, while loop, do while and for loop. We will go uh, discuss in further next class. So, mm, thank you so much for today's class. We will discuss the rest of the topics in next class.